So let's look at our diagram, what we're trying to accomplish here. We're trying to set up actually um, a vCenter and three ESXi hosts in the LUN, of course. Let me show you the LUN that I'm going to set up later as well. Open Filer LUN. Scroll down a little bit more here. Right there. It's going to be Open Filer LUN. So I've put the ESXi host in the VM virtual machine, so we're going to see how this works. Okay, give you a little more real estate here to look at. Okay, when you put the ESXi host in, so a couple different things, right? What do you need? You need at least two NICs installed on it. You need at least, say, four gig of RAM and uh, two CPU. It'll tell you when you install it. You don't have enough memory. You don't have enough this or that, right? So. Um, we're installing uh, ESXi 6.7 standard uh, installer. So we click or we hit um, enter. Okay, it's loading the ESXi installer running through its stuff. This is Linux, by the way. It's pretty nice because it's roughly like a 300, it's 300 gig roughly is what the size of the file is, the ISO file, if you will. And when it installs an ESXi host or a VM, basically, it's very small footprint. So it looks like it ran into a problem. I didn't. I guess I didn't allocate four gig of RAM. So let me allocate four gig of RAM and start over. Okay, looks like it sucks. So I put four gig of RAM in there. So we should we should see something uh, be good from that. Okay, so um, looks like it's going through a step. So we'll click Enter to continue the installation. So we're going to click F11 to um, accept and continue. Okay, so it's scanning its drives, looking for availability. And yeah, I put I put a uh, 16 gig hard drive actually on it. So it's very small. It doesn't need a lot, right? Uh, you can get away with like a 4 gig pen drive if you wanted to, um, or like 5 or 6 gig. We're going to click Enter or push Enter. And US default are going to actually put a password in. Then click enter. I'm building this on a like a it's actually uh, it's a ESXi host within ESXi host so stands the reason why it uh, threw that error. Click enter and then click um, F11 again. Okay so we're going to remove the CD or the ISO file, basically just uncheck it if it's a VM, and then we're going to reboot it. So what you'll notice when you first uh, bring it up, your IPs aren't set right, basically. So you have to set those set those IPs. So you push F2 and push your um, your password in that you use to create it. Okay. All right. And so what you're doing is you're customizing. So we're going to scroll down, we're going to configure network, and we're going to do um, IP version 4 actually. So we're going to do set static, and we're going to do 172.16.30.31, 255 .255 .255 .255 and our default gateway is .20. Okay. And uh, we're going to push OK. Let's go down to our IP version 6. We're going to disable IP version 6. Push OK. DNS configuration. Going to put our DNS information in, our host name in, and uh, click OK. We'll push OK. OK, so uh, once we quit this, or enter, or escape actually, it's going to reboot. So we push escape, we're going to click yes or why and uh, it's going to uh, reboot okay so we what we do is we go to the um, we actually go into that uh, interface there from another server inside of the same network we just log in to the ESXi host and we don't need to join the experience for this one that's it. So we just duplicate this two more times and we'll be set. So we have this one done right here. So that's done. Just got to get to it two more times. Okay. Thanks for viewing this lecture.
If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault, Get a High Paying Job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.